In terms of key trends I've seen developing in Italy, without a doubt, the COVID-19 pandemic has triggered major changes in all sectors of the Italian economy, and real estate is no exception. However, in most cases, the outbreak of COVID-19 mainly accelerated transformational processes that were already on their way. There has been a shift from what operators consider more standard institutional investor assets in favor of alternative asset classes that bring attractive returns with an acceptable degree of risk. The pandemic has been a catalyst that has boosted the growth trend in logistics and residential, mainly in the major Italian cities like Milan and Rome, and has hit the retail market that was already suffering as a consequence of the development of e-commerce. With the gradual containment of the pandemic, I feel that hotels and more generally the hospitality sector are recovering rapidly. While the office sector is still, uh, let me say, under review by the operators, it is clear that the new way of working facilitated by the pandemic has posed questions on the size and configuration of the office, and therefore we are now seeing major corporates reconsidering their office space plans. That said, the office remains a fundamental asset in the Italian real estate market, and the trend of the operators to focus on ESG and sustainability will also create new opportunities for investors. In terms of legal changes which will materially impact upon the real estate market in Italy, COVID-19 measures have definitely challenged and shifted the balance of power between investors and financiers and their tenants. Tenants are asking for specific reliefs and landlords, especially professional ones, are now more inclined to grant them rather than deal with defaulting tenants. But having a more long-term view, the message from the market is loud and clear. What will have a significant impact on the future landscape is the focus of investors on ESG and sustainability with net zero carbon targets. According to the EU Commission, buildings are responsible for about 40% of the EU's energy consumption and 36% of greenhouse gas emissions from energy. This means that significant work needs to be done in that direction. And without a doubt, potential new legislation in this area aimed at strengthening disclosure obligations regarding energy consumption with reputational consequences, introducing construction constraints with possible double renovation rates, and granting related tax reliefs and benefits will be of significant relevance for investors in real estate assets when making their investment decisions.